A new investigation has some of Montelli's former cabinet members facing prosecution. I got the Haiti Insider coming up for you right now. Over the last several weeks, the Haitian Senate has been in a frenzy over the investigative report that was released by Senator Bopla's commission. This nearly 700 page report was on the management of $2 billion in loans that Haiti received from Venezuela's Pitwil Kaib oil discount program. So the Pitwil Kaib was an oil discount alliance between Venezuela and a number of Caribbean countries. Members of this alliance can purchase oil at a discounted rate up front and the difference they would pay over a 25 year period at a 1% interest rate. Being a member of this alliance helped Haiti in a number of ways. One, it allowed Haiti to have a little bit of financial independence. Two, it saved the country in late fees. And three, it gave the government a reserve of capital to work with if needed. So the reason why this investigation is so huge is because it accuses 15 former government officials, including two former prime ministers and the current chief of staff, Wilson Lelo, Lalo, no Lalo, that's what he's called, Wilson Lalo. And they can actually face prison time, which in Haiti is not fun, primarily because the Haitian people don't pay taxes. In the field with my ace, lies on, lies on, lies on. Through my sources, I was actually able to get my hands on this report and skim through it. And what I found is that this report is actually very, very, very detailed and well written. Popola's commission went out and did surveys to say, okay, like this contractor said that this piece of road that they were gonna build is gonna be 10 miles and they measured it and they turned out it was like 6.5 miles. Or various um, ministers allocated funds for things and then turns out that those projects were never delivered on. So one of the largest driving forces behind Bullplant's commission to um, crack down on corruption in Haiti is because one, the $2 billion is not a donation, it's actually a loan that the people of Haiti and the next generations are gonna have to pay back. The number two reason why is, is Haiti's image. The Haiti's image to the people of Haiti and Haiti's image to the international community. Now let me just say this, I don't think the international community wants us to have a good image anyway. They say we eat dirt, we eat trees, and that we created AIDS by having sex with monkeys, which is totally false. There are no monkeys in Haiti, and I know this for a fact, because where would the monkeys live if we ate all the trees? Think. Former Prime Ministers Bergiv and Lamotte defended themselves on the corruption charges by saying that the international community never delivered on the $12 billion in aid that was promised to Haiti. The greatest gift of all. So the government had no, no other choice but to dive into Pitwakayu funds to rebuild the country. So one can argue that with Bopla's investigation, that Haiti is showing that they have a higher level of accountability than the international community. That's a bon plan, beau plan. It's like a Haitian tongue twister. It's like bon plan, beau plan. Bon plan, beau plan. Bon play, bon plan, bon play, bon. That's classic. So I wanna hear what you guys think about the Pitwa Kayib investigation. Do you guys feel as if these former government officials should be tried for the mismanagement of these funds? Or these things are in the past and that the Senate really needs to be looking towards the future and seeing where Haiti's going now. I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching My Haiti Insider. And until next time, L'Union Fait La Fosse.